In this work, we propose a virtual reality user interface that allows users to design camera networks. This is contrary to automated algorithms that try to automate the design task. The goal of these camera networks is to perform an observation task. The virtual reality interface places the user in any environment. The current environment is a 3D reconstruction from images. The user can move virtual cameras freely and gets to see a virtual feed from each camera. He can see which parts of the scene each camera sees, here shown as a green cloud, and what no camera can see, shown as a red cloud. Finally, the user can change his scale relative to the environment to get the optimal perspective for the design task. The goal of camera network design is to position a set of cameras so that every part of the scene is visible. In specialized examples, there are more complicated performance metrics for camera networks. The visible colors display a more complicated quality function. The traditional workflow of automated network design starts with the discretization and cost function design step that needs to be iteratively refined. Both steps require expert and domain knowledge. We propose a simpler workflow where the computer visualizes the problem and the user improves the camera configuration by interacting with the virtual environment. In this work, we show that the advantage of automated algorithms, that computers are better at solving the problem, is severely limited by the mathematical complexity of the problem. Our experiments also show that humans are better at solving this task than expected when their perception is enhanced by a virtualization of the problem. The reason for using our workflow is that anybody can use it and it's more flexible. So this is a practical example where a camera network is needed to guarantee safety while a crane unloads containers. In this situation, every point should be seen by multiple cameras, which makes the design task challenging. Now, in our experiments, the camera network designed by automated algorithms score on average 11% better than user-generated solutions using our interface. If we compare both solutions, we see that the user-generated solution focuses many cameras on high-risk areas, and that the automated algorithms focus many cameras on lower-risk, high-volume areas. So here we can conclude that while the automated algorithms score higher on specific quality functions, these camera networks are not necessarily better. To evaluate the quality of user-specified solutions on simpler problems, we let five users with no prior experience in designing camera networks design a camera network. We then compared the results with automated algorithms in terms of obtained coverage. Now, in the experiment, the users had to place 25 cameras in a complicated office environment in order to maximize their coverage. The uncovered areas are shown here in red. Now, all percentages that are shown represent the percentage of the volume that is covered by a camera system. The higher, the better. Now, for the computer algorithm, we used a provably optimal algorithm on the discretization of the problem. We both show the initial disc discretization and the maximally achieved coverage after tweaking. So, in conclusion, these results show that user-generated solutions are competitive with or sometimes even better than automatic algorithms. Finally, we would like to thank you for your attention and if you want to know more, please read the full paper.